Well, we're back at it with the cleanup. I'm going to pull some of these larger tops. But I think I've got a saw log in at least two of them, possibly three. So this one probably not, but that one probably is. And then the one underneath is definitely big enough for a saw log. Well, what I'd like to do is clean up around here. I'll block it up a little bit and turn some of that into firewood and some of the, some of the brush you just leave and let it protect the volunteers. And I kind of want to get to this tree right here. That's a big one. But it's also over mature and there's probably one good 16 footer and a couple of smaller 12 to 16 footers in that. I'm trying to figure out the best place to put it. I'm probably just going to send it right down the hill. But I've got a lot of this brush right here that I've got to cut up and organize before I can get to that tree. And I'll start working on that today. And I might even get enough done. Because, you know, I'm no rush right now. Some beautiful weather. Kind of uncharacteristic of the, of the winters around here. But i got to pick that stuff up and stack it. And just generally start doing the cleanup. I'm going to work towards getting another 20 to 25 trees before springtime. And the other thing I'm going to look to do is start getting rid of as much of the beach as I can. Just get rid of it. It's a weed tree. But there's a lot of small saw work in this. A lot of saw work on the cleanup side. Now normally a professional operation would just leave it. You know what I'm saying? But I get firewood out of it. So I tend to want to, you know, at least organize it, cut it up and organize it. I think I have another tree down here to get. Another top, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, that's from the ash tree that I knocked down. Maybe I'll organize that so I can get it too. And uh, clean up like that Widowmaker there. But uh, what else do we have down here? I hadn't planned on touching this woods for another 10 years either. But when they get up over 24 inches, I'll take them. You know, not going to take anything less than 18 inches, and actually probably not less than 20. But uh, like that one there is about 24. But you can also see how that one wants to go. Now, I've got a lot of beach right here, and then maybe I should just take out that beach and let that tree lay right down in there. It'll be easy for me to hook onto the log and get it up and out.
As that hickory sound, probably be a little easier for me to pull it off that stump the way it's cut right now. So what I'm going to do is go hold that maple and then come back and get this one. And then uh, if I have time, daylight will start cleaning up for that other, other big maple. But boy, it sounds good. One of the things I always worry about on on these is they'll split, they will just explode. And this one did not. This one stayed pretty stable. As far as this helmet's concerned, uh, I'm not noticing it, so that means it's a win. You know, it's pretty quiet inside here, so my voice gets a little bit raised. But uh, I'm just going to leave the camera right there and the saw too and uh, start pulling stuff. Well, there's that little beach right there that might be good for a railroad tie. So I got my smaller saw. I got the 562. So what I'll do is is uh, make some room and maybe I'll cut that one down and uh, pull it up and see if I can get some money out of that before I go down and get that big maple. So let me see if I can do that. But how do I like this helmet? The helmet. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't uh, create any problems. Sometimes ear muscle irritates your ears and stuff like that. So far I have none of those kind of issues. Um, for that matter, I don't think about it very much at all. It's not in the way of anything. And, you know, for me, that's... That's really the definition of win, isn't it?
All right, let me just cut that log out of it and drag it up. And that might be all we can do for the day. I think I'm just going to lop those so I can push them out of the way with a plow when I come back through. That's it for the day. Let me hold that thing up and call it good. I got a lot more of that beach to cut down. And I don't need a big saw for it. This saw right here is just fine. Kind of a different phase. Kind of go back and forth between the big uh, maples and, and that smaller stuff for the rest of the year. But this was supposed to be about this helmet. Let me pull it off my head. It calls itself Green Devil. And it does have sort of an arborist type of a twist to it. It's got the chin straps. This guy here goes up and down the way it's supposed to. You can tighten the tension right there if you want. But it's pretty much it's pretty good just the way it is. So works what can I say it was simple went together easy so get back on my head go home and this is the helmet that it obsoleted this is a Husqvarna brand and it's served me pretty well it does stink now you know it's got the adjustment for tightness there these guys work pretty good they begin to come apart though. It's got a few years in it. This one here, the suspension looks a little bit more sophisticated. It is, it is more comfortable, there's no doubt. And time will tell about the earmuffs. And uh, the other thing about this is that screen kept coming detached. I had to keep, you know, putting it on. I eventually tied it on. We'll see how long this one lasts. But this is a little bit larger. So I can put glasses on this one here. You know, I can have glasses on. So I'm cautiously optimistic. So far, I like the way it, it's working. You know? Talk to you later. Bye for now.